What's good, YouTube? I got a fire lockdown build for y'all today. I know y'all heard the left right cheese was back, but I'm not even gonna hold you. It is not the same no more. And you're gonna be able to guard on the perimeter and slashers on this build. But hit that like button and hit that sub button, and we're gonna get right into it. So we're gonna go shooting guard on this one. You wanna be 6'6, take your weight down to minimum and your wingspan. You wanna max that out, so go 7'3. You're gonna max out your speed, max out your acceleration. Stamina, we're gonna go 95. And we're gonna go right up to the defense, bro. So you wanna put your perimeter at 94. Gold clamps is good, but you do wanna be at that Hall of Fame if you can. And some heights, bro, some heights with some wingspans, it's just a little bit easier to get the high perimeter and everything, still with everything else you wanna have on your build. But we're gonna put the steel at 96. So you get in the Hall of Fame pickpocket too. You will need that. You can go 90, to be honest with you, but giving you that Hall of Fame pickpocket, that's really giving you the steals that you just usually wouldn't get. Bruh, for real, for real, because I know a lot of people focus on the bump steals and everything too, so you gotta notice the steals that Hall of Fame pickpocket is actually going to give you, bro. Even if it's only coming once in a, once in a while, you do want to have that on. We're going to max the block out. And your defensive rebound, bro, we're going to put that at 75. And another thing y'all want to have on y'all lock, bro, is the double lock takeover. So if you really want to clamp up, I'm going to let y'all know the sauce, bro. You got to go with double lock takeovers and it's not just for the benefit of just being a double lock out there bro for real for real your your attributes is increased even when your takeovers is not on bro not even gonna hold you and having on the extreme clamps that's gonna help you guard players from going to the rack and everything bro because the the clamps wasn't even the most fire takeover for guarding the left right cheese but the way the game changed, a lot of people were slashing out. You will want to have that Hall of Fame. I mean, not that Hall of Fame, but you want to have the Extreme Clamps takeover on. But at the same time, that perimeter badge drop, that is a fire takeover, bro. If you want to, if you really want to clamp up, or if you have a little bit of trouble clamping up, bro, I probably will go with the Extreme Clamps takeover first. But you really should, you should probably go with the, with the perimeter badge drop first because normally normally people still can shoot and you do got the hall of fame clamps so i would go with the hall of fame clamps and the perimeter badge drop take over first extreme clamps take over second and everything to give you them extra clamps and everything bro but we're gonna hit the shooting on this build you're gonna max out your three ball so you get in the hall of fame sniper badge you still can spot up bro you honestly could pull up off the dribble, but you feel me? Depend on if you like that. We're going to go 75 on a free throw and 18 shooting badges. You good, bruh. We're going to hit the finishing. So you're going to want to put your contact dunks on this build. We're going to go 92. And slashing is really overpowered now, especially if you got a player. Well, if you got a couple players on your team that can shoot too, for real, for real. Depending on what game mode you in, but if somebody camp in the paint, it's not going to be as easy. You still going to catch dumb contact knocks and everything, bro. It's just better if y'all do space out the floor and everything. But with 92 driving dunk, you got the elite contact dunks. You, you're not going to be missing, bro. All you got to do is know how to time your dunks. And for the speed with ball, we're going to go 82. You're getting a gold quick first step. Ball handle, we're gonna put that at. We're gonna put it at 67, bro. Yeah, for a fact. We don't need the quick chain right here, so we go with the 67. And honestly, bro, with 67 ball handle, you still can dribble. You're not gonna be bobbling the ball or nothing. But you do got the silver unpluckable. You got silver stop and go too. So you can utilize those badges, bro. Not even gonna hold you. Your pass act. 
we're gonna put that at 70 bruh hold on yeah four or five yeah we definitely had that at 70 and oh yeah, yeah we actually went higher up on the driving layup Oh, hold on. Yeah, for a fact, we put this at 60, bro. So, yeah, we, we don't get 27 right there. So, we good. I thought we was getting 27. And you're going to put that at 82, bro. So, that gave you the extra defensive badge. But you get getting 19, 18, 18, and 26. Bro, you see you locking up on a perimeter and when they get into the rack, bro. So, with your takeover, with your double lock take, Bruh, <laughs> they they can't score on you, bruh. And that perimeter badge drop, that is a fire takeover. You do want to go with that. You see you got the slashing, the sharp, and a lot. So, I would definitely go each. Yo, the enhanced jump shot contest is good, too. But I honestly think that was a little better for the left-right cheese and everything, bruh. Pairing up perimeter badge drop with enhanced jump shot contest. That was a little bit better for the left right cheese but this perimeter badge drop is better than the enhanced bro not even gonna hold you we're gonna go with that one and again if you got in if the player you got in is slashing more consistently bro all you gotta do is rely on your hall of fame clamps you do want to have that maxed out you get a perimeter lock though we're gonna get right to the badges real quick So for your 19 finishing, we're going to go Slithery, Limitless, Posterizer, Lob City, and you could throw on, like, Putback Boss. Yeah, bro, you're dunking. It's crazy, bro. I go Putback Boss. And you do got rebounding, too. For your shooting. And you really... I probably would drop the blinders, bruh. Yeah, I would drop the blinders or the high zone and go with the lucky seven too. Unless you add extra shooting badges on the build, that'd definitely be fire. But we gonna go with the bullet passer. You still got space creator and everything, bruh. You still can use that. But you could go with the dimer if you're not gonna be selfish and glue hands bruh glue hands or i thought it was worth four on this one but five you could use them five if you're not trying to use it for nothing else bruh honestly but stop and go 